Orgyle Robertson pupil was first described by Scottish ophthalmologist and surgeon Dr. Douglas Orgyle Robertson in the mid-1860s. It describes the physical exam finding of small bilateral pupils that do not constrict when exposed to bright light but do constrict when focused on a nearby object. Orgyle Robertson pupil is found in late stage syphilis, a disease caused by the spirochete treponoma pallidum. Neurosyphilis occurs due to an invasion of the cerebrospinal fluid by the spirochete, which likely occurs after the initial acquisition of the disease. The exact pathophysiology of AR pupil remains unknown. The current leading theory implicates a portion of the rostral midbrain as the most likely location of the syphilitic lesion. Damage to this area would affect the efferent pupillary fibers located on the dorsal aspect of the Edinger wasteful nucleus, which are a part of the light reflex while sparing the fibers associated with the accommodation reflex. The patient with air pupil will show small irregular pupils with light near dissociation, which means absent light reflex and prompt constriction with near accommodation. In short, light near dissociation means light reflex is absent but accommodation reflex is present. Symptoms are usually bilateral and have a gradual onset of months to years. The pupils will initially have a sluggish response to light progressing eventually a complete absence of the light reflex. Other findings to correlate the diagnosis of air pupil are those suggestive of late stage syphilis, such as sensory ataxia, which is lack of coordination due to a loss of sensory input, lancinating pains, which is the sensation of sudden brief severe pains over the face, back, limbs, that can last from minutes to days. Various tests can diagnose syphilis. The gold standard remains visualization of spirochetes on dark field microscopy. More commonly, however, non treponomal blood work for VDRL or rapid plasma reagent is sent to rule in the disease and then confirmatory testing assessing for fluorescent treponomal antibody absorption, treponoma pallidum particle agglutination assay, or syphilis enzyme immunoassays is obtained. A lumbar puncture can be useful in the diagnosis of neurosyphilis in a patient with an unknown syphilis history who is presenting with neurologic and ocular disease that could be consistent with the disease. Lumbar puncture is required in the evaluation of a patient with known syphilis presenting with these same symptoms. Furthermore, a lumbar puncture is suggested in all HIV patients with syphilis regardless of their presenting symptoms. CSF findings indicative of neurosyphilis will show greater than 20 WBC per microliter and return positive for VDRL and intrathecal pallidum antibody index. There is no treatment for AR pupil, however the progression can be controlled with the treatment of the underlying disease syphilis. Treatment is with penicillin G benzathin. Alternatively, doxycycline can be used for those with a penicillin allergy. 